welcome to Beth Roars, I'm Beth and today we're going to start off the Christmas season by doing a vocal coach reacts to David Phelps singing Oh Holy Night. Before we start you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, my handle is at Beth Roars. Also please do check out my website BethRoars.com where you can find in-depth singing technique blogs and you can also book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least do check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash BethRoars where you can see more exclusive content and you can guarantee that your request definitely does happen like this very video. This is a request by Tim Eversol, so thank you very much Tim, hey! All I really know about David is that he is an American Christian vocalist and he's meant to have crazy high range. So let's start Christmas with Oh Holy Night. Eee, Christmas is on its way. Oh, it's like an actual nativity scene. <laughs> Really interesting. He's putting loads of breath through this. Holy night. He did breathe in a place which I don't particularly like before the word shining. Generally, I like it when you don't cut up a sentence, so you just sing the sentence how you would say it. However, he is doing this half time, so the phrases are super long and sometimes you just do need to take a breath. So it's balancing quality of tone and sustaining long phrases with the meaning of the sentence. In this case, because it's such a long phrase, he's going to have to choose one or the other. He went for quality of tone and sustaining the long notes. What do you prefer? I don't know. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. It is the night of our dear Saviour's birth And long lay the world in sin and error pining And that first phrase we heard after the last break was super classical and then the Pining. He added that whiny tone ah, to make it super, super poppy. It's quite nice because you're getting a little taster of that classical traditional feeling, but then he is showing that he's probably going to do some cool pop rocky style belt. Till he appeared and the soul of it's a word. Like pop, let's go, pop, let's go. A thrill of hope. The weary world rejoices for yonder breaks. A new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees. high notes are really effortless for him, super full, really resonant. He almost has the tone of a baritone, it sounds very warm, it does not sound as high as it is but really he's quite easily hitting A's in a very lovely, secure way. I much prefer this higher part of his range to the lower part. I feel like he's really worked on his technique to get these big notes. It's kind of going towards a pop rock belt. I also really like how he suddenly brought it down. That was really nice because I was like, is he going to go for that B? I think he, he will go for that B later on, I'm sure, because I could hear it in my head and I was excited and then him to bring it back. I was like, oh, what's going to happen next? He will do it. Oh, night, 
notes are really on our vowels. Divine, night, he's making it an R sound, it's making it a lot easier for him to reach these top notes. Taught us to love one another, his law is love, and his gospel is stay around there yeah 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 it can do B flats it's kind of exciting I did not expect it to go to that lovely amazing high mix it was so full and then the choir to come in oh uh, that that was really that was a good moment and I thought well oh, yeah I'm gonna be like it's all right it's all right he's doing some really really good technical things but um yeah that that moment there was extraordinary I really enjoyed it There were so many different levels to that. The first bit I was a bit like, his lower range, his tone was fine. And when he was getting higher and it sounded really full and really easy, I was like, mm, okay, okay, I'm, I'm more on board, for sure. And then when he hit that top note and the arrangement of the choir coming in, that was really, really good. And the ease up there was phenomenal. I'm sure it also sounded even better live as well because it never comes across quite as well on a recording, especially an older recording like this. What a lovely way to start off the countdown to Christmas! Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!